Hi, Richo here from Radioactive RC. Today we're back in the workshop and we're going to talk about drilling propellers. Now, there's a few ways of drilling propellers. I'm going to show you the method I like and the way I've learned to do them and i found to be the best. Now, uh, a lot of people are frightened about drilling propellers. It's not a really scary job, but there's a couple of tools that you need to make the job a little easier. And for me, an essential part of that is a pedestal drill. Now, one of these items now isn't very expensive nowadays and every good workshop should have one. But if you don't have one, go to your local hardware store, they're not that dear, borrow your buddies, uh, or use his. But you can do it with a hand drill, but I don't recommend it at all. I've seen guys do it, I've had to do it myself when I've been stuck in faraway places without one, and the results are very mediocre, if not appalling. Now, a pedestal drill will always drill straight, and if you do it correctly, you won't have a problem. The second part in the equation is a drill jig. Now here we have a drill jig here, which has 12 holes in it. This one suits two size motors, 100 size motors, which includes 120s and 85s. And the outer holes here are for 150 size motors. Now these are all five, five mil drill bolt size and supplied with a 5.2 millimeter drill bit. Now the 5.2 millimeter drill bit gives you enough clearance to get the bolts through and any slight intolerances that you create, uh, it'll, it makes up for that. So you don't really want any bigger than that. Uh, five, if you do a, use a 5mm one, it's going to be reasonably tight and it's difficult to get the last bolt in, so 5.2 makes it a little easier. Uh, the other thing I use are uh, two little drill pegs. These are made from uh, old drill bits which I've broken off and just shortened up. And you'll see how these are used as I go through the process of doing it. Now, my preferred method for drilling is to drill from both sides of the propeller. I start from the rear. Now, no matter what you do or what method you use, always start from the rear. When you put the drill jig in and you start the drilling process, all the holes are going to be the closest match to the prop hub. The problem is if you drill from one side continuously is the drill bit itself can track off and you won't notice this. So my preferred method is to drill halfway through, flip it over, finish from the other side, clean hole all the way through. Now I'll show you how we do this uh, with the drill stand and we'll talk you through it. The other thing you want to have on your drill stand, if you can remember, is a nice flat surface, something nice and clean, so when the drill bit actually breaks through, it doesn't splinter the carbon or the timber at the end, you get a nice clean finish on the back of the hub. Now, let's get started, I'll show you how I do it, and I'll talk you through it. All right, here we have a prop that's already been pre-drilled. Now, I like to set my propellers up so that they come on compression about one o'clock 12.30 if you, if you imagine the front of your engine like a clock face. So as I come up, it comes on compression, I can flick through it. Now it's pretty easy to do with this one, as you can notice the bolt holes here are just about vertical. These two holes here follow the, a straight line from tip to tip. If you do that, you're always going to hit it between the one, one o'clock, 12.30 mark. You're not going to hit it too much. If you go slightly off a little bit, you've got a little bit of room on that one. So when you set up the drill jig in the back of your hub, we're using the inner holes here because I'm drilling this for a DA120. And what I'm going to do is line up this hole and this hole on a vertical line through the, through the prop. And that's where we'll start. And I'll drill this hole first and I'll put in a peg. And I'll drill this hole second, put in a peg. And then I'll drill halfway through on these other four holes. And then we'll flip it over and do it again. All right. So you'll notice that I've changed my piece of timber here. The other one was just slightly too big and what was happening, it was catching the edge of the propeller and made it rock. You want a nice flat surface for it to sit on before you start. Now I've lined up my jig. A lot, you can use a bolt from behind. It's not necessary in my opinion. Just hold it with your thumb and forefinger, just pinch it together and push your hand down on the propeller. Flick it off and away we go. Now you'll notice that I'm going in and back out quite often on this. The whole idea of that is so that the flutes and the drill bit don't get blocked up with chunks of carbon and epoxy or timber or whatever the case is. 
these all get jammed up here and that will cause the drill bit to track to track off even more so just go in little bits at a time let the drill do the work don't force it and come back out again now when you've done all of this clean this part off here because what you see is lots of remnants hanging around just tap it on your bench so when you go back on again it's nice and flat now this is where we use our little pegs and it drops straight in the hole we'll drill a secondary hole all the way through then all of these these four other ones will only part way through Now we can drill the other four. So now we'll flip it over. And this is what we'll do now is just run a, a cleaning drill through here. We only did that just to make sure the hole's nice and clean on the edges here. Now put the drill jig back in place, your pegs back in. And now we can drill all these other holes all the way through. and neat you can see by using the timber at the back here as the bolts come through we haven't burst away anywhere because we started from both sides we eliminate a lot of that the bolts are nice will get will drop through nice and cleanly now and line up with your prop hub now i like to clean these off just a little bit you don't need to do this is just something i like to do is to just get a bigger drill bit in your hand just slightly turn it and just take off the edges so you get no dags and no burrs hanging around nothing's going to catch your hand and essentially that's it it's not a really difficult job, it's one that's quite I quite enjoy doing and it's an easy skill to master. Mm -hmm.